A welcome back, subjects of funk to a brand new Let's Funk King Planet, Airship Dragoon, which just come out a day or two before. And uh, I think we'll start off by hitting the old campaigns up. It is a apparently a turn squad based, I think it's turn based system as well. And we have to pick a certain campaign, the Pangean campaign, select like one of six factions and lead your forces to total domination of the supercontinent of Pangea. I think I'm gonna go for that. It looks like a the basic um the basic campaign. And because I'm British, I'm gonna go for the British Royalists. Look at that beautiful uh, late 1800s uh, outfits. So let's do the new campaign. And before we quick click a difficulty, I think I'll crack open a can of Murphy's Stout, similar to that of a Guinness. Lovely. And I'll click. I'll quickly click a uh, medium because I've never played this game before. Naturally, medium is the one to do. So here we are with a brand new campaign, and it looks uh, very nice. I'm liking the look of this uh, this map. I got a lot of uh, factory productions by the looks of things. So let's go ahead and uh, try and take some off the pirates. I presume that's what you do. I'm going to get. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll go for central, 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 and the right... F no. New, no, central. And one more militia. There we go. That'll do us. And uh, let's now equip our militiamen. So, we can go for generic. And what have we got? Oh, grenade. Let's go for... Let's equip that. Uh, oop. And we need some ammunition. So we need some 3 or 3 bullets. Which would be a sensible choice, one might assume. We'll just give him 15. That sounds like a generic amount. This is going to be our officer. So now we see it needs some 455 ammo. Otherwise, we are screwed. Total funds 22. We might as well just give him, you know, max moolah. And there we go. I would say that's the best we can do. I think that'll do us. I mean, we've got five troops. We've got some arrow fodder, as it should be. You know, we need some arrow fodder. So let's, um, yeah, let's hit the deploy and commence battle. That's all right. I know we we can't afford weapons for everyone. <sighs> Finalizing tactics. Assault the flag, it says. So let's continue. Ooh. We're assaulting a military base, it would seem. Now, how can we have a Uganda about? Can we do that, in fact? Can we, are we free to move? Right, let's uh, just move him close to this building, then. And uh, as he's moving, we'll just move to the next guy. Oh, this guy's on his Jack Jones. So why is he on his own, and where has he gone? Oh, well. Tell you what we'll do, we'll take we'll storm this. So let's move him here. We'll go next and we'll take the unarmed men with us. Now that is a, a little bit annoying because naturally I thought if I can give them commands to move then I can just, you know, sit back and um watch them move. But that appears not to be the case. When I get a vantage high point, you know, because um if we want to blow some pirates apart, then we're going to have to uh, get some good positions. I mean, I have no clue where these pirates are. Naturally, I have no familiar familiarity with any of these maps. I'm going to leave him there because he's in a an open position. If something comes, yeah, I'll end this turn. Enemy phase, let's see what happens. Hidden movement. Oh dear. Not healthy at all. Alright, so, well, anyways, apparently this game's made by uh, one man in a bedroom. Uh, he's called Yorkshire Rifles, so. Phase 2, turn 2. Right, let's get. 
some movements on the go. See if we can see some Germanios. We don't want to get uh, shot by the pirate, I'll tell you now. Ooh, is that my man there? I have no idea. Let's uh, let's go next. Yeah, it is. That is my man. Which is good. We can cover each other, I suppose. Just looking out for uh, pirates. I keep thinking they're going to be Germans, but pirates. Unfortunately, we aren't wearing the classic <coughs> British uniforms. I would have liked to have... Uh, had the red, but I suppose we are only militia so far. I have absolutely no idea where the flag is. I'm just so sort of looking about. And what we will do is we will go next and just have a, a Uganda about. These all can keep vigilance over the old piratios. So let's go next because I'm, I'm going to assume they're going to come for me unless there's a they're using defensive tactics. <sighs> but yeah, whoever made this uh, game, sure knows his uh, historical uniforms, which it pleases me. Because uh, a lot of uh, American develops, developers are so keen to miss out the United Kingdom of Great Britain. For example, the new Sydney Civilization Beyond Earth has yet to put a United Kingdom uh, country in but has been keen to put an Australian country in the game which has uh, upset me a tad because I was hoping for a federation of commonwealth nations wouldn't that have been smart that's what we need to do in real life get rid of the old EU say goodbye to the EU and get ourselves a commonwealth federation so after you know going for a long time I have finally... What's that one there? I have finally found the enemy and I would really like... Oh, what the monk? Right, okay, I would finally like to, you know, get to grips and shoot one but unfortunately I've missed that time. I hope it, this won't get him killed. It might get him killed. Probably will get him killed. So, um, unless I can get my good man here, I can't get him there in time. I'd, I'd bring him down to help him, but I think my poor fellow is going to get uh, a hammer in. My militia oh. script under fire. Has he been hit? Ooh, missed. Ooh, missed. Ah, what I was picking before was the range of the gun. So I picked the 100 and something before. So he's going to get hit this time, I imagine. We'll see. Might get a chance. There we go. Oof. Oof. It's not what we like to hear. Surely he has no more shots left. Right. All is good. So let's move him. Let's move him. What's this here? Shoot slash use. Right, so that's what. Right, okay. So if I move forward and then go shoot slash use, he'd be 10 yards. Oh, yes! That's what it's all about. Can we pick that gear up? I have no idea. What's this one here? Kills this mission. Toggle info. First direction. Shoot slash use. No! <laughs> Reserve standard action for passive fire. And we will move our man. We'll keep him behind this wall. Oh no! I don't like this, I don't like this at all. This could end in tears for us. <sighs> you got any more bullets for us, matey boy? Turn 11.
we'll bring our man to this archway and then we shall pick the target this one at 55 fathoms um, Ooh. Ah, you naughty! Can't shoot anymore. Well, that was fucking champion, wasn't it? Fuck's sake! Damn it! I'm very upset because I haven't a clue. Oh. This is my own fault. My I brought about my own demise, ah! and that's it. Dead as doornails. So I'm gonna have to retreat if that is possible because I don't know how to. That's a, a boat mission. Retreat from battle. Inevitable defeat. Which is uh, an absolute sickener. So we'll just we'll end and we'll see what them see what we can do about this. Because that was a a really I mean it was just a tester to see what the battles were like and stuff. Very slow, but I can imagine that, that insufficient funds. So do we have like an income per turn? That's what we need to know. Dirigibles. 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 We'll end turn and see what happens when we end our first turn with um, the campaign mode. It's a very nice pint of Murphy's. That American nation. I wonder if you can make alliances. That would be interesting. The Zulus, you have to put the Zulus on. If you put the British on in, in the classic red jackets, you have to put the Zulus on, don't you? Anyway. So we have a population of... I know what we'll do. I mean, we could. If I am not mistaken, perhaps I could purchase... <clears throat> oh, it right, costs 15,000 dirigibles. And I'm not sure that we have that much money, but there seems to be no way of telling how much, how many, do we, how many, uh, how much money I have. Max moves remaining six. So perhaps. So unless we can, how much total funds two? So we'll have bought. So it turns out our funds are our resources. You know, resources we have. Because this just seems ridiculous. Instead of buying the dirigibles, can I just raid them? You know, I thought it would have been natural to take them over. The ones that are uninhabited, with a cost of nothing. Zulus. Alright, okay, so we've got a finance of four now. Which is, uh, it's better than a, a kick in the cherries. So, oh, here we go. This is what it's all about. Right. So I might as well just continue and try and take as many of these as possible. Right, fantastic. So we have some lands. What we really want to do, I don't know if the uh, the pirates are capable of attacking or if they are just generic sort of defences to make me have a crap day sort of thing. But we'll see if we have any resources next and uh, hopefully buy some bullets to perhaps have a crack at this mountain because we don't want an isolated... Uh, Pirates Mountain 
showing us who's boss, do we? Let's have some dirigibles, please. Ammunition. What, what I want to do is clone all. Copy this equipment, load out to all unequipped troops. Yes. And it costs exactly 30. So this time I think we're actually set up perfectly to commence the battle. Five men, five guns. Clear area, so we're not actually capturing a flag this time. So let's do it. Right. So the enemy are to the south. So what we need is a defensible position. So what I'm going to do is move everyone out up on the hill. Now the enemy may have deployed all of said troops at different parts of the map. Whereas I put all mine in the centre. He might just have easily moved his to different different parts of the map. I need someone to go and take a look over this hill because we're just staring into, you know, the wilderness. Oh dear. Bullets are flying like a demon. Oh, he's got an advanced sort of gun. I'm scared. Oh, that should be it. Yeah, all four shots, so there's two of them there. I'm hoping we can take him out in a couple of goes. See who take out the one with that laser first. Oh shit! Right, so the founders and uh, has bottled it and he's running. What a knobhead! Is that him out the game then? I don't know if we can control him or not. Right, let's first of all shoot this guy oh yes oh no that's one taken down one dead Here we go. Is that a hit? Nope. Nope. <laughs> we'll get one. No ammo. So we'll just use him as a. I don't know what. Use him to do nothing, I suppose. And he has no actions, and this guy has no actions, so let's end turn and we'll lose this. Which is. Oh! Enemy flees. Okay. We can't have many bullets left now. Have to be vicious hand to hand fighting. So let's see what happens. Dead. Surprised? No. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's another one. We've lost another battle, guys. Absolutely, really upset about this. But what can we do? Right then. I think we will abort this mission because we have lost again. I mean, does this guy even he has one ammo left? Ooh. Optimistic? No. Let's move him forward. Let's move him as far forward as we can. Right, you bugger. Yes! Oh, you what? Right, is there a way to hit him? Cannot punch him, so I'm dead next turn with him. This guy has no ammo anyhow. This guy has no ammo, so I think that's it. And 
we might as well abort mission, retreat from battle. Another decisive defeat. So we'll end that battle and uh, get angry. I didn't even think I actually clicked on a pirate base, but there we go. No more ro mo moves remaining, so we will end our turn. So I'm actually starting to get in this game, into this game, quite a lot in this short space of time that I have uh, had to play it, but it's proven quite difficult. We need more resources so we can kit the guys out properly. Because as you saw before, we uh, we didn't do too well, did we? So is that a pirate advance? The peasants are revolting, right, so they've joined the pirate side. And that's probably because we are uh, losing quite a lot. So we've got uh, 48 finance, so if, but um, which is good, a lot more than before. I was at 32 finance anyway, more than we had before. And we'll try and take on those pirates again in the next session of Let's Funking Play Airship Dragoon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.